So for the next uh, half hour or so, we're going to look at this important area. There is a lot of uh, anatomy that occurs right in the cellar and paracellar region. We're just going to look at the anatomy of the pituitary gland itself, as well as the adjacent structures. The cella tersica is the uh, small depression in the base of the sphenoid here that houses the pituitary gland, the tuberculum cella at the margin, dorsum cella and back, tuberculum cella is the uh, cavity that, that holds it, the chiasmatic and infundibular recess. These are little recesses of the third ventricle, uh, which you should be familiar with anatomically, and then the cavernous sinus, and that anatomy is also important to know. So the pituitary gland is a very small structure, but it's very important because of the endocrine function that it supports. Uh, the adenohypophysis, it's really two separate glands because they are structurally very different, functionally very different. The anterior pituitary gland, or adenohypophysis, uh, is where we have release of six hormones uh, from prolactin growth hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, thyroid-stimulating hormone, corticotropin. These are all delivered to the pituitary gland via a portal system, the hypophyseal portal system. So there's actually a blood supply that, that transpose, transports these from the hypothalamus to the adenohypophysis. The neurohypophysis, which is a smaller, more posterior component of the gland uh, with ADH and ox, oxytocin, these are actually transported not via a portal system, but they are bundled in neurosecretory vesicles and transported along the dorsal infundibulum to the dorsal uh, aspect of the pituitary gland, the neurohypophysis. The prolactin and growth hormone are typically produced laterally in the gland. These are the most common, by far prolactin, the most common adenohypophyseal tumors. Uh, so adenomas are typically paramedian in location. They tend to be more centrally located if they involve the less common uh, hormone-producing tumors, ACTH, TSH, and ADH. Uh, the um, antidiuretic hormone being in the posterior pituitary gland. The cella itself is typically uh, under a centimeter in size. In children, about six millimeters. In adults, eight to ten millimeters. During puberty, it can swell a bit, and instead of having a flat or slightly convex superior margin, we often see a convex superior margin in normal individuals during puberty or when they're pregnant or lactating. So that size is helpful sometimes when you see a relatively full gland, just uh, measuring and documenting its size is helpful. It's not uncommon to see it flattened. The so-called empty or partial empty cella, where the glandular tissue is flattened,